What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 AEW action figure review on the AEW Unmatched Collection Series 4 Cody Rhodes and Adam Page figures. Now, these two figures to the set are very unique in that they are both street attire. They're both in street gear or promo gear or backstage look, if you will. As you guys can see, Cody is in his suit and tie and slacks with his loafers, by the way. And then we have the beautiful cowboy-ish going on with Adam Page over here with his jeans, his belt buckle. He's got ostrich skin boots for Christ's sake. He's looking really good. I'm enjoying both of these figures so far. I cannot wait to crack them out of their packaging, find out what they're all about. Of course, we did grab these from Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save ourselves 10%. You can do that as well. We did review CM Punk yesterday, and I'm excited to dive into these two figures as well. I feel like Series 4 of Unmatched Collection is a very outstanding set, to be honest with you. It's a very great set. I'm hyped for it. Can't wait to dive in, crack them out of their packaging, find out what they're all about. Of course, we do have to get through their packaging first, but here is a beautiful image of Cody. You got the shot of the figure. You got a shot of him right here looking good in suit. On the side, you got Cody Rhodes down the side. He is number 27. There's a shot of the side. You get Cody down here, AEW logo. Another shot of Cody here. His signature looks a lot better than CM Punk's did, even though it kind of, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. We do have the rest of the figures in the set, which looks good, of course. And then over here, we do have Hangman. He is looking really outstanding. He comes with his Biss Soda over here. That looks really good. And then you have Adam Page over here. You got number 26. Adam Page over there, AEW logo, another signature, looking good right here, looking like a buckshot Larry about to come for somebody. Rest of the figures again, AEW logo, Hangman down there, that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. We're going to crack these guys out, find out what they're all about, take a look at them at the rotating stand, and find out if these figures are worth a damn. So here's Adam Page and Cody Rhodes out of their packaging, man, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, Brad. These are fan-freaking-tastic. I'm enjoying these so much already, cracking them out of the packaging. I'll say right now, they feel a lot better than CM Punk did in hand. The joints that I was talking about yesterday, if you guys missed our review of CM Punk, definitely go check that out. But I'm enjoying these figures a whole lot. They're really gonna bring your setups, your feds, your stop motion, your anything, your display. These are going to bring them to life. Now, these automatically, for me, I think are going to to be a purchase every single time. Unmatched 4 is coming with the heavy punches. I love the promo gear. I think it's really outside the box. I think it's creative. Allows for a lot better. I love the unique molds we're getting right here. It's insane. I'm really enjoying it, man. I may be walking out every time I see a Cody Rutt. Like, just getting these guys in suits like this allows for such customization and switches and fix-ups and things, which you guys know MDT. Fix-up King, maybe? I don't know. You guys know with action figure surgery, I'm constantly looking for ways to fix up and spice up the collection. So, these figures are fantastic. Again, I cannot wait to dive into a man. So what we're going to do is dive into Paige's accessories and Paige. Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Cody's accessories and Cody. So getting into Adam Paige's accessories, man. Really enjoying this. I think this is really awesome. As you guys can see, you get three different cans, a shot glass slash little cup, and you get three interchangeable hands. Now let's dive into these real quick. Now I really like these. I think they look awesome. I love the colors. I love the attention to detail with the pop top right there. It's got a nice sculpt on there and it, it looks dimensional. You know, it is actually sculpted on there. I think this is actually an official tall boy. Like, this is the actual can that's supposed to be a tall boy. They just removed the logos for likeness and copyright reasons and stuff like that. So you do get one in red. You get one in this cream color. Now, I'm pretty sure this is, like, I, I've never drank alcohol in my life. I've sworn it off my entire life. Never saw the appeal. Never wanted to do so. And I want that to be a pledge to you guys that you do not have to drink alcohol to be cool or have fun or be awesome. Because I'm the most awesome mother effer there is. All jokes aside, you don't have to drink. Drink because you want to, not because you're pressured into it. And I don't think you have to do those things to have fun, man. So if you're ever on the fence, think about MDT. But I think this is supposed to be a Coors Light, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a specific series of Coors Light. And then this one right here is in this blue and light blue. And this is obviously Bud Light. This is like my dad's go-to choice right here, okay? Go-to choice for Papa MDT right here, Bud Light. He didn't get the tall cans. He's more of a draft guy, but he'd go bottle over, over can, I do believe. So there's that. But yeah, looking good. Shout out to my my damn dad. And then you also have this plastic cup. It's not quite the shot glass. This is more of a plastic cup, you know, kind of one of those red solo cups, but it is in a clear translucent package or, or you know, a little, little deal there. So that's cool. It's a new mold. It looks good. This is probably the same mold as the Chris Jericho, a little bit of the bubbly cups. They just made it transparent to make it accurate to the way these party cups usually look. Then you also get your shooter hand, which is really nice. We've seen this multiple times. Looks good, but that only comes on the right hand. And then you also have your beer holding or cup holding hands, which this 
this hand right here will not hold the cup. This one will, but this one will hold, you know, the, the tall boys or the tall, you know, 40 ounce cans or whatever those are. So those are nice. So diving into Hangman, man, really enjoying this head sculpt. This is the first time we've seen this, the smirking or the smiling, bright eyed smile for Hangman. I think he looks awesome, to be honest with you. I'm actually really enjoying this head sculpt. I think it looks fantastic. Going down into the shirt, you do have your Western style shirt that is synonymous with the cowboy. He's looking, he's looking great. I like it. Maybe one or two more buttons could be open, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna hassle it. I love the Western pattern you got going on. They do have the joint in the shoulder right there, I guess because it's like baggy long sleeve, which really doesn't notice because it's in color. If it was in skin tone, I feel like it'd be a lot more noticeable, but the sculpt here is great. All this is sculpted on. It's not the same sculpt as the Cody. It is a whole unique sculpt. Going down, this is all sculpt right here. All these buttons are sculpted in. You got the nice wrinkles on the shirt. Nice belt buckle right there. I'd like to see more wash on these jeans, you know? It doesn't bother me that they're one flat color, but I think it'd really add a lot of detail if you had like a dry brush of darker blue over lighter blue or something like that. Not as saturated blue as this looks or toy-ish blue. It needs more of a flat navy color, but it's not terrible. I love the sculpted going on. I like to just what a great looking figure, man. Oh my god. On the back, you also have that pattern going on if we didn't mention it. All the pockets are sculpted. The belt is custom sculpted right there. If you guys will look closely, it also says Hangman on the belt, which is a very beautiful detail, man. I think if you, if you got like a light brown, like a really light brown and then dry brushed over that, it'd make that stand out a lot more, but it still looks awesome. Love the lower cut right here, which is beautiful. Nice wrinkles going down. And then he has ostrich skin boots. Now I actually, my dad actually owns a pair. So Hangman and my dad obviously run the same circles. Similar beverages, similar boot styles. My dad actually owns a pair of these and my junior year of high school, we had Western Day. And you know what I did, Brad? I broke out my dad's ostrich skin boots and I wore them hose to school. And what a day it was. And they were very comfortable. And I'm not a boot guy, but those were pretty fire. But these look really good. They actually look just like his. So that's kind of cool. You got the ostrich skin boots going on, which is really cool. That's why those little divots are on there. Awesome. Just a beautiful looking piece, man. Now for your articulation, he can look down pretty solid there, but not up, obviously, because of why? The hair, Brad. Come on now. Arms have great articulation all the way around. You do have the bicep cut, double jointed arms. He can still bend over really well. You guys know the ab crunch on AEW figures is pretty undefeated. You have the split C. He can kick forward pretty good like that. You do have the double jointed knee. You have a thigh cut and a lower boot cut or a lower pant cut, which is just, God, I just love holding this figure in my hand. You do have the boots that can look down just a little bit and you do have some ankle pivot in there. Great foundation figure, man. I mean, good God in heaven. This is, uh, like when we saw it on display, I was excited, but just seeing it in person is so great, man. Oh my God. This is just fantastic. And I don't usually put figures over super hard, but today's review has been super enjoyable. These figures are fan freaking tastic. Now let's get into your Adam Page figure comparisons. Now for said Adam Page figure comparisons, you have the AEW Unrivaled 5 Hangman, you have the Unmatched Series 4 Hangman, and you have the Unrivaled Series 2 Hangman, which all three are great and I love. How sick is it that all of them are different? You got your long gear, your street gear, your tights gear, or your underwear gear, whatever you want to say. Now this figure right here, I'm pretty sure was made by Wicked Cool Toys or a different company. That's why they have the different, you know, the, the pegs are different, the skin tones are different, head sculpts are all kind of wacky and stuff like that. But we can pop this head off pop the Series 5. A lot of people give the Series 5 head sculpt a lot of crap, but I don't think it's that bad, man. I genuinely don't think it's that bad, and look at that right there. Now you got a pissed off Hangman in street gear. I mean, good God. I am enjoying myself way too damn much. I'm enjoying, like, I love this. I love this. I'm a grown man, and I'm not afraid to say I love this 6-inch, 7-inch plastic man. Now you could also take the smiling head sculpt, and place it on your Unrivaled 5. And look at that. That's dope too. Even though this figure's loosey-goosey. Need to fix him up some more. Good God, man. This figure's a nightmare. We need more Hangmans or something. I don't know. You also have this. The, Unma or the Unrivaled Series 2. You can take this and plop this onto the Unmatched Series 4. And now you got a pissed off Hangman in Western gear. I mean, dude. Unbelievable. I'm having too much fun, man. I'm having way too much fun. This is the way figure collecting should be. Then if you want to take a step further, look at this. What am I doing? Now look at me. Now look at me. I got my I got my bandana. Now you got pissed off Hangman with a bandana in street gear. Now I got pissed off with a bandana in the western gear and a Hangman's noose. I give up. I'm just, it's too nice. It's too sweet. I'm just kidding because now I'm putting the smiling head sculpt onto the Unrivaled 2 Hangman. And it's a bit, you know, it's a bit loose, but I still think you can get away with that. You can easily get away with that. It's just, ugh. God, what a beautiful, just greatness. This is such greatness. Now, he did have clown feet. We fixed him up. He looks a lot better now, but 
Dude, Hangman is bringing the fire. Now, we're not done because if you pop off the torso, what do you got? You got nice long jeans here for bigger dudes. So you can put bigger dudes in here. Now, the only one that I'm really going to attempt today because we've been here a while is I do want to put Brian Cage on here. Good God. And it goes on there, but uh, you're not going to get any waist swivel. Like, it's literally sitting on there, I guess, because it's so big. It just kind of sits on there, and I'm kind of afraid to break it, so I'm not going to force it anymore. But you guys kind of saw what it looked like. Like, it'll pop on there just to sit, but you're not going to get, like, a ton of movement out of that. And I know we don't have a shirtless Wardlow, but I did want to see if Wardlow could fit on here just because. And I guess he technically could. I mean, these jeans kind of scale well with him. It's not terrible. You could probably do Jake Hager as well, but, I mean, that's not terrible. Not, not terrible at all. So getting into Cody's accessories, man, really enjoying these accessories. They're not like over the top crazy, but I'll always enjoy some interchangeable heads, man. That gets me up in the morning to go run for a mile, you know what I'm saying? So these head sculpts look great. Again, we've seen these before. I think we saw this one first with the Unrivaled Series 4. We also saw it with the TNT Cody. It's a really good Cody. It looks just like him. It's got the smiling expression. I think this is the exact head sculpt that we saw with the Unrivaled 4 or, yeah, Unrivaled 4 Cody. So seeing him in both versions right Right there here's the figure to compare and yeah maybe uh, i don't know the paint apps are very similar but yeah you, you get it it's the same exact head sculpt just maybe a little bit paint apps differently there but that one looks really good and then this one's really nice as well you have the passionate head sculpt right here which also came with the tnt cody which i love it's a great head sculpt i'm all for it you know putting these heads on other figures and creating different moments cannot wait to get our supreme edition cody from aew and jazzwares and then we're also going to be getting an ultimate edition soon and an elite and basics and all kinds of crazy stuff for Mattel so Cody Rhodes figures are just now getting started and we're going to get plenty more outside of that you also get an AEW microphone which we've seen quite a bit you know we did also get one with CM Punk in this wave which we reviewed yesterday so there's that you also have your mic holding hands which look really good good skin tone on here good mold you know they're not grappling hands these are object or mic holding hands specifically and then they actually gave him some fisted hands which is kind of crazy you don't get a lot of that with AEW figures nowadays so this is cool to see I like it it's good stuff and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying these fists right here. Kick figure's ass. So getting into Cody, man, starting out the head sculpt. Not going to spend any time on it because we already saw it. But I will show you guys how it sits on the neck, which uh, I was worried about at first. Like, I felt like it was uh, it was sat a little bit too low. But after further looking at it, it looks good. And it also, you guys will notice, they do have the tattoo right there. Great attention to detail, Brad, how it shows the tattoo right there. That is very good and nice. You love to see that. But the suited body looks really good. I like the vest right here with the buttons going down. You got the tie, the collar, shirt. Very slim body. Something I've been begging from Mattel for years. I have been begging for that. And we still have yet to see that. But one thing I did notice is both of these figures have the uh, the joint is showing right here. The little shoulder joint. And it's on both sides. And it doesn't really bother me because I guess these are supposed to be baggy long sleeves. So it kind of blends in. If it's skin tone though, it will definitely show. So I'm glad that they don't do that on all the skin tone figures. But you do have this nice overthrow right here. This is kind of a winterized style coat. Sleeves look good and they are well sculpted they're double jointed they are you know they do have the pins in there but we're working away from that you do have the buttons on the side here nice little flap on the back right there to tighten it i do believe this is a soft rubber and it removes pretty easily i'll show you guys what that looks like in just a few you know i'm not going to take it off at this real moment but going down into the belt sculpted very well like the way that looks the legs look really great i like you know all this is well sculpted like it looks like actual you know slacks or skinny dress pants they they look great they really really do and then my favorite part of the loafers bro how sweet are those those look like official loafers they got the brown color in there i hope to see these in white maybe or black multiple colors give me all the colors because i can make these look like my house shoes and make a mdt and freaking chilling at home style and then i gotta have some crocs as well but this looks this looks awesome so for this cody rhodes figure you do get quite a bit of articulation the head is not the best because of the collar but he can look down a decent amount right there shoulders go out above 90 you do get the full rotation bicep swivel double joint arms these arms feel so much better than cm punk yesterday i it's just unbelievable you would think because he's in a suit he can't articulate brad but look at that right there now this is kind of ugly because it puffs out there like a dress but he has hella articulation man got the splits he's somebody wanted to see what these figures look like when they cut uh, you know when they kick forward he can kick forward quite a bit there you're not going to get any back kick because of the butt cheek flap but you know he you know if you're running or whatever you can lean him forward he can easily run there 
there. You have upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, lower shin rotation, and you have foot articulation up and down and ankle pivot. These feel incredible, bro. I love this figure. Oh my god. It's like they hand designed this figure for me or something. Like, I am loving this. If this suit was not the long winter suit, figure would be perfect. It's still damn good, but Jesus, I love that. I, can, I mean, these are the kind of figures you could pose around all day. Now, if you do remove said jacket, it's actually really easy to do so. This is what it looks like, and you know, it's not terrible. It's not horrific. If the sleeves were white, obviously it would look a lot better. I mean, I could see them doing that one day, having white sleeves, so it looks like a blue vest, but it's not terrible, you know? If you wanted to do something with that, I'm gonna, I'm about to, a second, if, here in a second, I'm gonna see if I can find a blue suit overcoat to throw over this and see if it matches in color, and then maybe you can make like a, you know, a short jacket version and have Cody and Sue, but it comes off really easily, and it goes back on really easily. So you guys saw both of those on camera. It's a nice, soft, reminds me of Jax, how they're kind of rubber fell. So this Cody Rhodes figure kicks all the asses. And for the Cody Rhodes figure comparison, here's the Unmatched Series 4 up next to the UK Ring Exclusive, the TNT Champion Ringside Exclusive, the AEW Unrivaled Series 4, the AEW Unrivaled Series 1A, and then I do have the other one, but it's over there. It's just this one, but correct skin tone. You know, it's nothing like over the top immaculate. I do also have a Mattel suited Cody here with the 1B head sculpt on there, or maybe it's the TNT Champion one, but you guys can just kind of see the difference here. Not a huge difference. I mean, they, they look like the same company made them, honestly. It's not that big of a difference. I just need an open jacket, an open navy jacket to put on here. I don't think you could put this style jacket on there unless you cut it in half. And really, it, it'd probably be very hard. I'm not going to lie to you. It'd be a difficult process to do. But this is pretty cool. I like the way this looks. And one thing I wanted to see was what if Cody got pissed off and, you know, he, he wanted to rip his shirt off. You got your slack pants right here. Now we can have fun with these slack pants. And I'm about to do a bunch of different swaps. So here's regular Cody, you know, with uh, with slacks on right there. If you wanted to put Cody in slacks, there's the way that would look. Looks pretty cool. You know, I love these legs, bro. Jesus, they're so poseable. It's so nice. Unbelievable. Just unfreaking believable how nice these are. Oh, you want Kenny Omega in slack pants? Boom. Kenny Omega in slack pants right there. How, I mean, dude, th this is why if I find this figure, I'm buying all of them, bro. I'm buying all of them. Look how awesome that is. This is game changing. This is unbelievable. The customization is insane. And I'm sure that we'll be able to remove these feet and put different boots on there. Or maybe we'll have, a, a, you know, a sneaker mold that we could put on here. You guys know that the Kenny Omega Unmatched 5 is coming with sneakers. You want to put those white sneakers on here. Maybe that'll be an opportunity with ripped jeans. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious, alive. Here's Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks in slack jeans. I mean, oh my god. How do you not love these figures, man? I am just loving these pants right now. And it, AEW figures are just so nice to interchange. Unbelievable. Oh, you want CM Punk in slacks? So well, there you go. CM Punk in slacks now. How about that? MJF. Slacks. There you go. Series 2 MJF torso and head sculpt onto the unmatched for Cody. I mean, dude, this is a uh, game changer. Absolute game changer. And then here's MJF's head on here. Don't think it really works. Think it's a little bit too slim for him. I think if you wanted to do the shirtless look, you could, but it, it looks a bit too slim in my opinion. That's just my opinion, though. But this Cody rocks, bro. Oh my goodness. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 AEW Unmatched Series 4 review on Cody Rhodes and Adam Page. Again, man, had a ton of fun with with these figures. I'm still constantly posing them around. I like them a lot. I love the added articulation on the bottom. Now, that is something that I swear to God, that is, that right there just feels like MDT influence. This, these figures feel like they were made for me. You know what I'm saying? That's how well made these are. I really, really enjoy these. Again, I really wish the jacket for Cody wasn't the long coat, you know, the winter style coat. Really would have added to it and made it better, I think, because of customization and things like that. But I love the loafers. I love the look of it. I love the jean mold. I think Paige looks amazing. Great head sculpt on all these guys. We've seen these Cody heads, but I still at the same time, these, these are just great. They really are. I, I am loving every single second of playing and posing these guys around. I hope to get some usage out of these very soon on the Fed. They are just very fun. It's really no other way to slice it. They, they are very fun figures. They're outstanding, fun to pose around, and if you guys want to grab them, go over to Ringside Collectibles. These are no doubters for me. I don't care if 
you already have a Cody. I don't care if you already have a Paige. Go get them right now because they're so damn good. I really, really enjoy them. And if you guys wait to see my approval on a figure before you purchase or, or whatever the case is, first of all, I really appreciate that. That means a lot. I, I give my honest feedback in every single one of these reviews. I don't ever want to, you know, put over a figure that I think is dog shish. And I never want to, you know, harp on a figure that actually really is good, you know. I'm not going to hold it back. So, these are really good action figures, man. I think you guys are going to really enjoy them. So, go grab these. I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's get into a random shout-out. This comment right here made me cackle out effing loud from our CM Punk review. It goes to Dilla Sophie. Dilla Sophie? Or Dilla, Dilla Sophie? Whatever. Dilla Sophie? I don't know. That head sculpt makes me want to go bowling with my cousin Roman in Liberty City. That genuine made me laugh so hard when I read it out loud. You know a comment's hilarious if it makes you laugh out loud, man. So if you drop me a funny comment or a comment that is just really clever or whatever, man, that's an automatic shout-out right there. That, that junk made my day. But the CM Punk unmatched figure looks similar to the main character in GTA 4 and in GTA 4, you like, you get harassed by your damn cousin Roman to go bowling in Liberty City and it's just that was so funny, bro. Good. Just what a great, great comment and it made my freaking week god that was good but huge shout out to that guy for that man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys enjoy have a blessed day and go grab these figures because they're effing nice you crossed the line i've been